In 2022, I was heading out on a trip to Ecuador to go climb some mountains. I needed a physical. While I did that, I ran my blood work and my PSA levels were really high. So my primary care physician referred me to Dr. Hong. Did some research, found out he was, you know, well respected in the industry, great education, and decided to see him for my next steps with that problem. I decided to go with the Tulsa Pro procedure due to the fact that it was less invasive, fairly quick, short-term recovery, and once the recovery is done with a Tulsa Pro procedure, you can really move on with your life. There's no downtime, really. I think the only thing that would have maybe held me back a little bit would have been more invasive procedure. Had it been more invasive, um, or if my cancer would have been more progressed, I would not have been a candidate for it. The day of the surgery, when you walk in, it's um, the staff, everybody was incredible. It was very relaxing. Anytime you go in for a procedure, there's nerves and anxiety around that. Everybody was very calming and, um, you know, we joked around, talked a lot about, you know, just what's coming up and that's the last thing I remember because <laughs> I was on general anesthesia and then woke up and went home about an hour later after the procedure was over. So I went in about 7, I was home by 12, 30, 1 o'clock. Dr. Hong was very upfront with me that, you know, I would be going home with the catheter. And so you've had that and experienced it, there's not a lot you can really uh, prepare for. Um, but it was fairly easy, um, you know, a couple days getting used to it and it's um, uncomfortable, but it's, um, but at the same time, it's, it's very comfortable compared to the other treatment plans. So I felt very comfortable with that. After I had the Tulsa Pro on a Saturday morning, I had a trip planned to the Grand Canyon and then a trip in April to Nepal. So I needed to make sure I could do the, both of those trips because I had people coming in for Grand Canyon, so I didn't want to disappoint them and, and I wanted to do it. So I had the procedure on a Saturday, 12 days later, I had the catheter removed, and that was on a Wednesday, and Saturday I was climbing in the Grand Canyon. No pain at all um, associated with it once the catheter was removed. The catheter was not painful, it was just a little bit uncomfortable. And then sub after the catheter was removed, your bladder has to sort of re-establish itself as far as being able to work, because it's been resting for 12 days, right? Because the catheter is handling everything. So I, um, that was a little bit just to get used to, but I dealt with it and I was actually able to, you know, we did a rim to river to rim hike on that Saturday and I'm scheduled to fly out to Nepal in a few weeks for a mountain trip. The Tulsa procedure has impacted my life simply the fact that it was a relatively easy procedure. You can move on with your life. When you have the right stage of cancer that's applicable to the Tulsa Pro, you can really move on with your life. You're not worrying that the cancer is still there. You're not doing active surveillance. You're not doing or watchful waiting. You're not worrying about other treatments that might have to happen right away. You really can put it behind you and move on with your life. So I think that's given me a lot of peace of mind, especially with what I have planned with my you know, mountain climbing and my career in real estate. I just wanted to get back on the ground and, and moving forward. So it really has impacted me greatly because I can just move into my life again. I would say Dr. Hong is a very caring physician, very knowledgeable about all things related to the prostate issues that, that you know, we face. And he understands all the procedures. He, do, he does them all. So the fact that he can speak to other forms of treatment besides just the Tulsa Pro, which is nice because he can lay out all the options and tell you, and then you can make the decision which one's best for you in cons consultation with him. And I found him to be very you know, caring, you know, very smart and very helpful in, in guiding me to making those decisions. Mm -hmm.